Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My role is a very simple one, to welcome everyone to the great University of Johannesburg. This includes our guest of honor, Professor Zeiks Da, the contributors to Imbiza, as well as all readers who have graced us this evening. The University of Johannesburg prides itself with its commitment to the development of the literary culture and in centering African writers. We are the only university that runs a major literary prize open to all South African writers, regardless of whether they are affiliated to the university or not. Much as we recognize excellence in writing through the main prize, we also development oriented. We have the debut prize which is given to authors who are publishing a book for the first time. There are strong synergies between our objectives with the UJ prize and those espoused by Imbiza. Some of the objectives cherished by Imbiza include bridging the gap between cultural workers, public intellectuals, and academics, serving as a launch pad for emerging creatives, critics, and early career scholars, and creating a point of convergence for both emerging and seasoned critical minds. These are the noble values cherished by the University of Johannesburg. We believe in recognizing excellence and nurturing new voices. It is due to this confluence of ideas that UJ is proud to be the academic home of Imbiza Journal for African Writing. I'm also pleased to say that the cover star, which is our guest of honor this evening, Professor Zeik Smda, is a previous winner of the UJ Prize with his novel, Rachel's Blue 2014. Professor Mda is no doubt one of the most prolific authors alive since the dawn of South Africa's democracy. He has published no less than a, a dozen novels. Mda showed us that the jettison of apartheid did not limit our imaginative power. In many ways, Mda addresses the concerns raised by Professor Njabulon Debele in his seminal paper, Rediscovering of the Ordinary, wherein he challenges South African writers to move away from the spectacular and write ordinary stories. Mda chose historical mode to grapple with the present. His preoccupation with historical narratives is evident throughout his works, talking about his latest book, Arola, A Journey into Ten Ancient African Civilizations, 2021, recently, Professor Mda articulated his mission as, and I quote, I wrote this book because it is important for the African child, both on the continent and in the diaspora, to internalize a new mindset that we have not always been slaves. Our history does not begin with slavery and colonization. I could talk about Professor Mda's books until the cows come back home. Suffice to say, for now, under his belt, he boasts over 30 books across different genres, and his translations are manifold. What is extraordinary about Professor Mda's corpus is that it is not limited to literature alone. He is a multidisciplinary artist and is quite prolific in all the disciplines. Perhaps one day the university should host a Zeik Sundar conference where scholars could engage with his works. I hope this coverage in Imbiza gives a glimpse of, of Mda's work and will attract more scholarship to his varied works. I'm delighted that Professor Mda is now a member of the UJ family. Over the past few months, he conducted writing workshops for the Johannesburg Institute of Advanced Study and guest lectures, lectures for development studies. For this evening, however, I would like to formally welcome Professor Zeik Sunda as the visiting professor in the English department. It is a great honor for us to have such a prolific author as a member of our family. An author of Professor Mda's stature ought to be accorded the highest honor that society could offer. In the absence of an African equivalent,
Professor Mdad deserves no less than the Nobel Prize for Literature. I will leave it to the academic community and readers of Zeke Mdad's work to fulfill this dream. For now, we say welcome all to the great university of Johannesburg, the second ranked university in the African continent. I thank you. Nia Wonga, Bayadanki. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.